Hello and welcome back to my channel. For anyone who's new, my name is Olivia and today I am going to be doing a requested wrap. Um, I'm going to be doing a wrap based on the Ravenclaw house from um, Harry Potter. Now this one is um, a little challenging for me because my known house is Slytherin and I've done quite a few wraps for that particular house. Now it's also challenging because I don't have a lot of blues, navies, you know, deeper blues. I have some powder blues, which totally go with Beau Baton. So I, I've done wraps based on that before, but um, I went out to look for clothing for things to wear to accentuate the, the wrap, because for me, it's a total look. It's not just from the neck up. So I was looking and looking and coming up empty. Oh my goodness, I don't know what in the world is going on with in the fashion world right now, but it's, it appears to be nothing. Um, I went thrifting and that was a total, mm, I was very disappointed. Uh, typically I can go out and I can find a lot of, of pieces. Doesn't matter, you know, age or, or anything. And if it's ripped or, or um, there's some defect, I can always mend it. It's not a problem. But um, I really just struck out thrifting and going to the shops was just... So I did order something and it will be in, in a week or so, uh, depending on mail delivery speeds. But um, until then, I just figured I would do something really comfortable and casual. Now, I will say I had a disappointment when I went. I was kind of excited at first because I'm a teenager of the 90s and I remember Jinko jeans and... I saw a pair of pants that from a distance looked just like them and I was like, yes, those, I can, I can totally use those with a heather gray t-shirt and like a cardigan in either navy or like a navy and gray stripe. Totally can do that. That, that will work. I've got, I've got my Converse downstairs. I can work with this. Um, just for the, for the casual look. And I went up and the fabric that these, um, Jinko look-alike jeans were made out of, oh my goodness, was cheap and ridiculous. Also, they didn't really have a button. Um, they had elastic waist. And I was like, come on guys, if you're going to steal the stuff from my youth, you're going to, you know, bring it back, whatever. At least bring it back properly. Don't, don't chintz it that way. I mean, it, come on. How hard is it to put a button in? I've, I've done this before. But uh, you can see I was a little a little perturbed because I got excited to see and then yeah but anywho I just grabbed out a t-shirt that is in the pile of t-shirts that I inherited from my children my daughter went to England a few years ago and she brought back a t-shirt and then discarded it after a while I claimed it I'm going to be putting on one of my husband's discards um, this is a really awesome shirt. I'm going to use this in place of a, a cardigan because my husband doesn't wear cardigans and I don't have a dark blue one um, and my gray one my daughter stole. So yeah, this is what we're going to be doing and it does have French cuffs. So I'm going to be putting on my cufflinks. I should say my husband's cufflinks, um, but I'm going to be putting those on too if I can find them. That's, that's the key, if I can find them. If not, I'm going to be doing some sort of nifty trick to um, close them or maybe even just leave them open. It doesn't matter. Um, but to the wrap, now that it's almost five minutes in, um, I'm going to be using, oh my goodness, this beautiful blue cornerstone. I'm gonna lift it up, you can see the fringes here. And I'm going to be using this gray um, cranberry. Now I do know the difference between the book and the movie, um, or the movie series, the, the book series. And I wrote down all the things I wanna talk about here on the piece of paper. So if I'm looking down, yes, I'm cheating. I'm looking down at these things. Because um, again, this is not my house, so I, I had to really go and research. But the, the colors in the books are blue and bronze and the colors in the movies are blue and gray. Now, um, I'm going to 
talk about the real quick the traits and then while I'm undoing my scarf here again traits wit learning wisdom acceptance intelligence and creativity well I think I got the creativity going on in here because um, I had to to get creative when it came to create to making a look for for this um, but I'm also not wearing any volume in my Wendy this Wendy is the dead Wendy that I just can't seem to bring myself to toss um, it doesn't it doesn't hold on when I have any amount of stuffing in it it's just overly stretched out and it happens after a while this one is my second oldest of the shapers so it, it makes sense um, but I've taken all the stuffing out I've got just my hair back here and please pardon me I am limited in my movement today because I don't I don't know what I did but I the pain across my back right now is like insane when I do a lot of movement um, so I'm gonna be limited in my movements so the wrap also has to um, conform to my ability to move today all right but you will get more fancy wraps more um, business casual or more um, art and more artsy wraps coming up next week um, I really truly just need a massage at this point but, okay Whew, now to the wrap all right, so I'm going to take this beautiful, beautiful cornerstone I'm folding over at the front, and I'm going to be putting this on as best I can. Um, I'm just trying to get this as short as possible. I think I'm going to be doing a slouchy, a slouchy beret um, type. Oh my goodness, this really hurts. All right, but I'm just bringing this up and around. You don't realize how much you use your back until um until it's a, a pain to do it. So, all right. Working this back. Okay. I've got this over here in the folds thirds. Okay, so I'm going to do something similar on this side. I am going to make the tail, the shorter tail longer because I am going to be bringing it up and doing like a beret kind of thing. So, okay. So I'm going to fold this over. We're not going to see that trim. And this hurts. I promise I will not say that the entire time. Um, okay. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay. Back to it. Okay, back to it. Okay. All right, now when it comes to this, I want the longer side to come out of my right side. That's why I put it on incorrectly. I typically have the design on my left side um, at least I have been recently I don't know when I transferred over from right side design to left side design um, but yeah I, I've noticed that a lot of my designs are going that way so put it on just just backwards okay now do I want to go under You know what? No, 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 not under. Okay, on top. All right. Let's see if this... I'm not going to be doing lots of pleating. Uh, I just can't today. But what I am going to do is I'm going to bring this piece up and around. I know this is going to seem crazy, but... Bear with me. Okay. If this works, it will be awesome. Right. So I'm just 
just going to be bringing this one up just like so and bringing it down at an angle and I'm going to tuck it in here. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. I just want to fold in the edges just so that um, you don't see that pattern. Other than that, it doesn't matter. So just coming up in front. And I want to just bring it around and tuck it. This really hurts. <laughs> Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can get this in the right channel. Oh God! Oh, there you are. Okay. Oh. Okay. There we go. Sorry. I did say I wouldn't be complaining. I apologize. This back a little bit more. Trying for the angle beret like effect or beanie like effect. Let's see if I can get this to look neat. No tassels. Of course, more tassels fall out because I wanted the stuff too. All the tassels are falling. I can't help myself with these with these pleats. I just can't. All right, all right. Now, it's not perfect, um, but we're going with it. And then I am going to see if I can find some sort of brooch to make this not so plain. Um, I might even put it honestly right in here. Let's see. Oh, my hair's a brooch. Okay, so I've got this gorgeous one that I picked up at Rapunzel. Oops. I will put the names in the description box, and if it's available, I will totally put the link. It's a nice French clip. Easy peasy. All right. I'm going to say straight up it's not my favorite one, and I will apologize for this being not not the greatest. It's cute. It's, it is kind of pretty. Um, I will do my best to perfect it and do this one again when I'm not... I'm not... Um, in so much pain. So, all right. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Um, Shabbat Shalom to those who celebrate. And yes, I will give you a 360 really quick before I sign off.
to do this again. All right. So I will see you in the next video.